Hey guys, it's Taylor and welcome back to my channel. It is February, it's cold. Look at the snow. It's beautiful and really cold. And it is audition season. For people who don't audition for musicals or live theater or anything like that, audition season is usually between January and February, mainly in February, and it is auditions usually constantly like every single week and it's crazy. crazy. I've been auditioning now for about a year and some crazy stuff has happened to me while I am auditioning. For anybody out there watching this who has auditioned, I'm sure things like this have happened to you in the past and they're still happening now. So I'm gonna talk about some of the things that have happened to me in past auditions. Let's get it started. So nine times out of 10, when I go into an audition room, I'm normally told to take my high heels off. Usually I'm auditioning for a very young role and maybe they just want to see me look younger so maybe the high heels are a little distracting. I don't know the reason. But I'm almost always told to take them off. It's so weird. So I always do a lot of my auditions barefoot. It's just kind of a weird thing that's always happening to me. I've also had the people sitting behind the table who are usually the casting directors and the producers and people like that. I've had them make me sing almost every song in my entire book. I remember a particular audition where um, the woman who was casting the show didn't like the song that I sang and she literally went behind the pianist and flipped through every single song that I ever had to make sure that there was something in there that she liked and I probably sang maybe like six different songs. That was a lot. I would say that was a lot. <laughs> Another thing that has happened to me, actually on several occasions, the people behind the table will maybe like your audition or, you know, see you as one of their characters or whatever, but they're not certain. So they will give you a new piece of music, give you maybe like 20 minutes to go outside, learn it, and come back in and sing it to them, which is, whoa. I know I'm not the only person that this particular thing has happened to. Do you ever give the tempo to your accompanist? of the song, which is the speed for those of you who are not musical people, and you think you did a good job, and you go up to sing your song, and they play it like a little too fast. When I'm down, I'm feeling blue, I close my eyes so I can be with you. Or a little too slow. Sometimes I Yeah, 100% happens to almost every person who auditions in this theater world. It's no big deal, you learn how to deal with it, but it does make you a little nervous. I had this happen to me once in an audition. Wow, um, great job, Taylor. Um, just give me one second to think about it. Okay. I literally stood there frozen, and I didn't know what to do with myself. <laughs> Normally, the cue for you to leave the audition is when the person behind the table says, thank you. Then you say thank you, and you pick up your stuff and you leave. I felt so confused and conflicted, and then when they finally said thank you, I was like, okay, bye, I guess. <laughs> now something that happens at an audition is you bring a book of music with you. It's all the music you've prepped for these auditions, it's all different kinds of music, so depending on the show, you have something prepared. And normally, you have a 16-bar cut of everything. For some people, you don't have an 8-bar cut of anything. 8 bars is nothing, like absolutely nothing. And I had an experience once where I was standing in line, I was the second group of people to go into the room to audition. The casting director comes out and yells at all of us for giving us the wrong indication of what kind of music she wanted us to prepare. And she wanted us all to change our songs. They must be pop rock. They've got to be eight bars, and if you have neither of those things, leave the audition now. Whoa. Like, whoa! So much pressure and horror at the same time. <laughs> so I had to flip through my book and pick a different song and mark my things, 
literally right before I went into the room. Another thing that's happened to me is I've been typed out of an audition. I know I said this a few weeks ago, people were like super confused as to what that meant. Typing is something that some casting agencies will do at an audition if they're looking for a specific type of person. Some shows are very traditional, like I would never go audition for a production of The Wiz because The Wiz is an all-black cast and that would make no sense. So I always try to go to an audition that I would be suited best for, that I could see myself being in and they could see myself being in. But sometimes they get too many people who sign up for the audition, so they have to line you up, a group of like 10 or 20 in the room, and they go down the line and they look at you and they say yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. For those of you auditioning who are new to this world, if you get typed out, don't take it personally. You weren't what they were looking for anyway, and you don't want to sit around for like three hours, wait to be seen, and then not get a call back and finding out then that you weren't their vision. And the last thing that's happened to me is I've been asked if I was lying about my height. Y'all, I'm 5'2". I am so short. I could not possibly be lying about my height. Even if I tried and if I wanted to lie about my height, 5'2 is a pretty lame answer. I think it's the high heels again. We're back to square one with the high heels. I did not have somebody ask me if I was lying about my height. They literally said, are you sure that you're 5'2 or are you just stretching yourself to be taller? And I was like, no, I'm really 5'2". <laughs> like, I went to the doctor and everything. They told me I was 5'2". I'm pretty sure I'm 5'2". I have no other answer for this other than 5'2". And I've actually been measured at an audition. It was after the audition. I'd gotten a few callbacks by then, so this was like the last little piece of it. And they made me take my shoes off and put me against a wall and measured me. And they said, oh, you're not lying about your height. And I was thinking, no, I'm not. Why would I? <laughs> I'm so short. Like, if I'm going to lie, I should like at least come up with a better one. Don't lie, kids. That's, no, that I'm sending a wrong message. Please don't lie about anything. <laughs> and that is it for today. Those are some of the things I encountered during my audition times. I'm sure some of you have auditioned and experienced some of the same things. And for those of you about to audition, don't worry, okay? Some of these things happen. It just makes you more prepared for later. And later you're going to laugh about all that stuff and not even worry about it. So, no big deal. Don't worry. Just work hard and that's all that matters. Alright, I don't know what that was. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you want to see more videos. I try to make them every Tuesday and sort of every other Friday, kind of. I don't know. I can't make promises and keep them. If you liked the video, please give it a big thumbs up for me. That would make me super happy. And please share the videos with your friends. Okay, thanks for watching. Hopefully I'll see you at the end of this week. Bye!